Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rikah HaKadash, double honor to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days, the elder apostles of the great millstone, also known as GMS, in citation to the most high's men in the four corners of the earth, pushing his word of sincerity and truth. And Shalom to the sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. This is your brother, Yum Yum from GMS, Mississippi, with an intrinsic topic going into the end times. When we look at the events that are transpiring, in the world today, you know, these particular cold wars are brewing up hot, hotter and hotter. And when you look at how Yahweh Shai appearing, his appearing is going to come as a thief in the night. You know, the world is not going to be expecting him, looking for him, nor waiting for him. Know, and as it is written, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Because when you're caught off guard and you're caught lacking, you're going to reap the, the reward and, and benefit of such activity. So if you're not watching, if you're not hasting, if you're not planning for things to get worse and understanding through the spirit, that wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability in those particular times, then it's going to be very detrimental <laughs> to you and to you and your loved ones, you know, because you're not walking as the wise, you know, you're walking as the, the imprudent, you're walking foolishly, you know, and then the scripture goes into the, the 10 virgins, how five of them were wise and five of them were foolish. You know, you have to, to understand that you need oil in your lantern right now. You know, you can't walk around with an empty lantern and then expect some period down the road it's going to automatically fill itself where you're going to be able to go into the cellars and buy it just conveniently. You know, that's never how anything works in life. Most times when an event occurs, You need instant, instant funds at that moment. You need instant actions at that moment. You need an, an instant solution at that moment. You know, you really don't have the time and sometimes you don't even have the means to go out and make something happen to rectify that situation. These last days are going to be the exact same way. So you have to understand that staying ready in the cool of the day will have you ready readily prepared in the hot of the day meaning that when these terrible times come and even the average Jake right now you know without the wisdom knowledge and understanding of the spirit or saying oh man Israel's involved talking about the land of the, 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 the people the Jewish people like oh man you know the, 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 oh, this is the end this is the end of the world man you you're fighting the Jews. You're fighting Jew the Jewish people. The Jewish people are fighting. And they're routing it back to something biblical. But it is not taking heed to the spirit. You know, that's fleshly. <clears throat> but even now, you know, there's an earthquake. A three point, a three point something magnitude earthquake. 3.2 or 3.6 magnitude earthquake. <clears throat> in Afghanistan, you know, and so you're looking at all of these particular plagues that are that are happening. These are the exact same plagues that the Heavenly Father spoke of when you, when you read in the Book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John of the earthquakes in diverse places. And when you read in the Book of Second Ezra on how you know you pretty much we're approaching the time to where every man's hand shall be against his neighbor. You know, and breaking into their houses and ravishing them. So there's really no time to to sit back and, and act like none of this is happening according to prophecy. You know, prophecy is the key thing because that's what, you know, when you know what's down the road, 
You know how to prepare for the curve. You know how to prepare for instance, this stop sign. You know, but if I didn't know, then I'd be over there in the woods, not prepared, just steady on the gas, going nowhere real fast. And that's how the people in the world are conducting themselves. They're going nowhere real fast and are stuck in, 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 in the bliss of the satisfaction for the moment. You know, but all of this, all of this will not be here all way. Everything that we know to be is temporal. But that which is invisible, that which is spiritual, that is eternal. That we are approaching that eternity. But it's only be, only going to be given unto the elect of the Lord. As they are going to be the ones that are saved and redeemed from the destruction that is shortly going to come to pass. You know, but as it is written, all of Israel shall be saved. And the Heavenly Father has a, a, a special place for his people in the kingdom of our Lord Yahweh Shai. You know, but by death and pains on this side, they're going to receive their judgment. You know, but we want to be exempt from judgment. We don't want to get, get caught up in the judgment of, of, of the wicked, the, the, the wicked ones. You know, so that's why, you know, we hasten in the day of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, as he approached with the host of the heavenly, the heavenly angels, you know, that we may be found worthy to be saved because all of us are, are, are worthy of death but through faith and grace and mercy you know we pray that the Most High will, will be just that merciful and gracious towards us you know but when that time comes there won't be anything that can turn it back can only be interrupted by more destruction and that can only be interrupted by more destruction because when the destruction comes that's the ultimate judge of the Lord and no, no one's going to turn it back <clears throat> you know just like in a bow and arrow once that arrow once that bow is pulled back with that arrow in it and it's released there's no retracting it it's gone so just as the, the, the judgment is pronounced there's no retracting it it's going to happen but you being caught in it, us being caught in it, you know, that's a matter of us being exempt from the judgment. Praying unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to, 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 to have a well-pleasing eye towards us in that particular case. You no, know, but as the, the Heavenly Father sends His only begotten Son as a thief in the night, a great majority of the people in the world are going to be caught, caught slipping, caught slacking, and, and, and are not going to be prepared for what is going to come. You know? And at that moment, they're going to be running to and fro and frantic, trying to find answers and trying to find ways to reverse back in many years of the wickedness of their lives to, to, to make a confession unto the Lord. Know, because he's going to show up as a, the scripture states that he is as a person, an austere man. And he's not going to meet this world as a man. He's going to meet this this world as, as, as a, a a powerful spiritual super force. You know, because he, he already came lowly and humble and was beaten, ridiculed, mocked, spat upon, etc. So this time around, He's going to do all the beating. So most eyes will, you were able to receive some edification from this particular subject matter. Until next time, I say shalom.